start off with a huge congratulations for each of you. So really, it's worth it to give yourselves a round of applause, do, 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 round of applause, because look, you have been the one to show up. Those that have showed up consistently and in particular live, and even if not live, that you're up to date on the replays, you are in the top 1%. So write that down in your notebook or in the chat. I am in the top 1%. Okay, this is a huge deal to commit to five days. And Lord knows how many hours between, you know, if especially if you're a VIP and then you're thinking about this and hopefully, you know, when you're really thinking about it, it's hard to sleep because you're so excited about what's coming up next and, and consuming, like absorbing everything. Like this has been a week full of light bulb moments. And concepts that you may have never heard of. And I see your brain chewing on it, right? You're doing the videos, you're doing the homework. And I, I have to get back and check because I'm sure I missed something last night. Uh, I went on a date night with my husband. So, but you're taking action and I am so proud of you. And I hope you're proud of yourself for proving to yourself something we talked about yesterday that you can follow through on things like that. You have your own back. You are trustworthy right? Uh, Karen says awake since three 30 this morning, thinking about it. I told you that is so good. This is what breakthrough looks like ladies. This is growth. So brava. Let me ask you, have some of the things that I've asked you this week, have they felt hard? Tell me yes or no in the chat. Have some of the things I've asked you to do, have they felt hard? Yeah. And so for those of you that think, yeah, yeah, there's a couple of yeses coming through. Yeah. Like, I feel stretched, Judy. Is your response to me, ugh, I hated it? Or is it like, thank you, Judy. Thank you, Judy, for stretching me. I hope it's thank you, right? And actually, Andrea, did you say you have a, a win you want to share? Okay, I'll pause. To, I want to hear it. So... My win is you had said, start reaching out to podcast podcasts because right leverage is key. And so I reached out and this morning she said, yes, I want you as a guest. So one reach out, praise the Lord. <laughs> and honestly, you know, I mean, I am working with you inside your joyful program. I mean, joyful because it doesn't feel hard. Well, it's challenging. It stretches me. Don't get me wrong. But um, the fact that you lay it out, it was so helpful for me to just go, okay, what am I looking at? What am I sending? And it just took all that task stuff that I don't like doing off my plate and I was able to take action. So thank you for that. Awesome. That's a good win. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Give it up. So she's one for one. That's, that's, that's a great batting average. Woohoo! Yes. And you know what it takes? Yeah. She's talking about the podcast pitching protocol. That's all there for you when you jump in. I'm going to, I'm going to briefly talk about the offer later, but you know, it's there and she did something with it. And I'm so excited that as a result of like being here, you're like, I'm going for it. And it paid off like that. And so imagine you send out five pitches a week. Um, how many might come back? It might be like the, would you think that's a good problem to have ladies to fit in your podcast guesting in interviews? That's a pretty neat problem to have. So brava, Andrea, I'm so glad you said that. All right. So if you say thank you for being stretched, I need to point out you are literally watching your own capacity expand. Like you are growing, you are maturing as a faith-fueled CEO. And again, I just want to make sure that you're applauding yourselves. Every Friday in my free group and in all of my paid program groups, we have a Friday celebratory post. And I always say every win. I want to see it. It should be your homework. You're all are in my free group. It should be your homework to say, I am going to post a success for the week. Why? It's not to make me feel better. Oh, yeah. No, it's to say that to yourself, review the week and say, I did something. I moved my business forward. I had a mental breakthrough when it comes to money. I better understand that I need to get in the spotlight. I can't run from it. It's my responsibility. Like these are all wins, great and small. So that's so important to you. This is the work. It's so important for you to get. It's feeling all the feels and moving forward anyway. It's doing the things you never thought you would or could and 
trust me, if you continue doing the things we talked about this week, especially the daily video and posting your unique perspective on things, keeping their beliefs, the beliefs of your best client top of mind, speaking to that best client, you're going to come to enjoy doing those videos and coming up with ideas to talk about. Those concepts and ideas to talk about will be never ending. And your business results will be reflected positively. And can I say by Christmas, you could look like a different person. <laughs> Who would like that? <laughs> I've got to look like a different person physically. But yes, otherwise, right? So I want to remind you that tomorrow's a bonus day. Sisterhood Saturday. I'm, I'm, I'm sure going to come with my coffee. And maybe even in my pink um, and white polka dot granny robe. I don't know. Come as you are, right? I'm excited. I mean, I have an exciting special message that I want to share. Okay. Now, one last thing before we jump in, I have a favor to ask of you. If you feel well served this week inside my make bold offers challenge, will you take a moment and do me a favor today? Would you be willing to either type in the free group a post or post in there a very short video, like a minute, okay, telling me what you got out of this challenge? the payoff, the biggest payoff. Or maybe you're like, Ooh, I don't, that's not as easy for me to talk about as, um, how about what you learned or maybe how your business will be impacted or how your life is already changed. You understand what I'm saying? So if you could please just take a moment and do a post. And if you've done a video before, now that you're finished today, do it again. I would so appreciate that. Okay. As you do, it's not only for you to like, really assess what you've learned, but also to show others, maybe that didn't take the time this week to see others, your transformation of what's on the other side of this challenge. Okay. Now, um, all right, let's go here. Let's review where we've been. Okay. Cause we've, we've been lots of places. So we talked about faithful service being your superpower, understanding that your faith in Christ is your unfair advantage in business having the creator of the world directing you and, and you fulfilling his promises, right? My goodness, there's never a reason for us to fear. Faith equals belief. The hope you have in Christ is reliable. And the more that you lock in, write that down, lock in. I've got to lock in. The more you lock in to your identity in Christ, and you realize that in him, you are right now, exactly where you are, a powerful woman of God. That is when you step in to all that he has for you. But we've got to rid ourselves of the junk, right? We're talking about obliterating beliefs. But in Christ, we've got to lock into what that real identity means because your future is certain and your success is inevitable, right? And so this is, this is really the biggest work of the entrepreneur and the one that for many of us, we poo-pooed it. Let's poo-poo it no more. <laughs> you know, I used to say that in court that became known as like, I poo, you know, the, the, the opposing counsel was asking you to poo-poo this or that, but look, it worked. Anyway, we also talked about the difference between perfection and mastery. And that mastery is having very high standards, not perfection though. We should we shoot high standards, we maintain them, and we have a willingness to assess and improve and learn. That's mastery. Day two, we talked about the secret to creating a truly scalable, irresistible offer, right? It was about the realization that when you fully embrace who you are and you tap into your edges and be you vulnerably, authentically, it is you that becomes irresistible. So yes, there's this offer that we want to make irresistible, but what draws people in is you. You become irresistible because you are the leader. Everybody follows a leader. You're the leader who shows up and demonstrates for them what's possible. And so is the packaging and the pricing and the positioning of your offer important? Of course it is. But what's more important than what's in the offer? Who can tell me? What's more important than what's in? Like what I get. It is the P word. Come on, somebody's got to pop it in. It is the payoff. Thank you. It is what is in it for the client. What does their after look like? I have these modules. 
What do they get from those modules? What's the payoff for them? That is sales. And another vital thing to keep in mind here is your certainty. You have got to be certain about you as an expert. Certain also about your best clients, that you know who they are and you know what they can accomplish from working with you. And that you are certain also that your offer is the vehicle by which they will get exactly what they want. And finally, on the point of offers and selling your offer specifically, I want to give you, I want to give you yet another way to think about your offer. Think of your offer as a gift, a beautiful gift that you give to your clients. Now, you know, when we're giving a gift to somebody, we could just wing it and we could just guess at what they want right? I could just guess at what somebody wants when I'm on a phone call. I could just follow a script and say the next question. That's not good. Or you could kind of look at what other people are doing. Like we could look at our competitors and say, oh, they're doing that. So maybe I'll throw that in, right? Or maybe, maybe what we could do and what we should do when we're on sales calls and as we're putting our offers together, we could do the most loving thing And now let's zone specifically on our sales conversations. Maybe we can throw the script away and we could ask them what they want and really listen actively to what they tell. What are they telling you? Because too many times we're wanting to give them this gift, but we don't even know what they want. And so if you think of it in terms of a gift, Ask them what's important to them and then wrap up that gift that is your offer exactly in the way they want it. Frame it, wrap it to show them how exactly what they want is exactly what they're going to get. Of course, this is only if it's all true, right? Does that make sense? When I want to take this one step further, have you ever been to a shower or something or a gift exchange and there's like someone who opens the gift and says, Oh, you shouldn't have like here, take it. This is too much. Why do they do that? Because they don't see themselves worthy of the gift. And that could be the best client that's sitting right in front of you or that you're talking to on the phone where they want what you got, but they don't feel worthy of it. And that's why part of your job is to sell them on themselves. Beliefs, right? Show them what they are capable of. Show them that they're worthy. Show them what is possible for them right where they are. It is your life's work to get your people all in. And now with that said, there's yet another side to gift giving. Have you ever seen the giver as the gift receiver is opening the gift and the one who gave them a gift is shouting, oh, well, I have a gift receipt. It might be the wrong color. Sorry, you can exchange it if you don't like it. Like, First of all, they just made it all about them. Second, they ruined the whole experience for the one who's opening the gift. It's like, shut up. I, you know, like, what are you giving me this for if you don't really want to give this to me? And they just, by saying, hey, you know, they just diminish the value of the present, no matter what it is. They just robbed the recipient of the experience. And so I will tell you that I've listened in on client calls where the same thing has happened. And here's one example. They open up the call saying, look, I know this is expensive and it may not be for you. Like, I know this is expensive. It's like, that's, that's, that's like framing it in like, are are you trying to set yourself up to fail? (laughs) And are you, by saying that you may be well-intentioned, but are you making them think that possibly you think they're not worth it or that they don't have the money for it? Like, Can you see how that's like derogatory? That's not helpful. So I want to encourage you to be careful not to project any of your mind junk as you present the gift that is your offer. Okay. All right. Day three, putting you in the spotlight is a selfless act. Your unique message, your perspective on your work, your expertise, your take on what is required for your clients to get results. Like, and that includes your strong convictions. God built you to deliver that message. You and you alone. Say, God built me for it. In your notes or in the chat, God built me for it. And it is the delivery of this message. 
And so it is your job and it's your responsibility before Almighty God to deliver that message. Not from the recesses of your home, not from under a bushel, but via a loud megaphone, okay? Yesterday, we talked about how you were created by God to lead, specifically to lead a movement, to unapologetically proclaim your category, to claim your corner of the market and to share your perspective, not only about your work, but also about your values. People care, right? Because your best clients, those who God set apart for you, will resonate with them, okay? Remember, we said we don't just want buyers. We want, what's the other B word? We don't just want buyers who aren't all in. We want these people who are all in. Does anybody remember? We want believers. Yes, Charlotte. We want believers. That's why the movement's so important. So that it's not just our work. This is our life's mission. There is a movement that I want you to rally around. I want you to come along with me, right? And in doing so, we are not saying, look at me, me, me. It's actually not about us at all, right? It's about putting the message in the spotlight, putting the movement in the spotlight. And doing so, we get seen. And not as an arrogant know-it-all, quite to the contrary. The humble, strong vulnerable yet powerful leader, the visionary leader who can help them get what they want and do it in a way that feels authentic and good. And again, amen on that. I want that all day long for you, for me, okay? And we also talked about leading a movement that moves the masses. And so we talked about when we do that leveraged marketing, brava to Andrea for talking about that today, right? We're talking about making social optional because yesterday was tactic day. And I shared that leverage visibility strategy. Put this into action. Talk for 30 minutes and get seen by hundreds and thousands, right? And by doing that in a smart way, having that call to action to a lead magnet, growing your email list, ultimately leading them through the path that leads them to the gift of your offer and then inviting them to get exactly what they want from working with you. This has been a phenomenal week, hasn't it? <laughs> so today, before we talk about building an eternal legacy, let's welcome the Lord here, and then we'll move into a legacy building. All right, Heavenly Father, we are here. God, I just, just please help me to be efficient in my talk so I get this done in the next 45 minutes, Lord. But yet, as I say that, I don't want to rush. It's too important to rush, Lord. The most important thing is that your voice be heard through mine. I am your vessel, God. Your will be done. We trust you. We love you. We pray all these things in the mighty and almighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. All right. We're going to talk about legacy. Who here wants to leave a legacy? Say me, if that's you in the chat. Do you want to leave a legacy? Good, good, good. Well, can I be honest? When I hear that word for the longest time, legacy felt lofty. I love all these me's coming in. It felt lofty, it felt intangible, and frankly, so beyond anything I could do. And then, and then I had children. <laughs> Why do I get weepy? Today's my youngest birthday, he's 23. <laughs> but when I had kids, then I began to understand a little about what legacy was. Legacy, all of a sudden I saw it, it was teaching something important to my children, something that they could teach their children, something that my mama taught me. Like making sure my boys were grounded in the Lord Jesus Christ. There's nothing more important than that. So now fast forward, I'm a business owner. And after too long, I finally realized that the work that I was doing was so important. My clients needed me so much. And and so that was important work that I had to do, especially in 2019, when God says, hello, Judy, you got a big mouth. You're madly in love with me. It's time to mix the two, the business and me with me in the center of it all. So today we're going to unpack what legacy looks like. And I want to start with the definition of legacy. Put simply, legacy is the long lasting impact of your life or your work the long lasting impact that will last long before we're gone. My daddy, I don't talk about him much. Why am I crying? He left a legacy. 
after he died, we saw this beautiful letter that he wrote. He was a man of God. He was a prayer. We just didn't know it. We thought mom was the prayer. Dad was as much a prayer. He was just quiet about it. <laughs> Your legacy will come as a result of you becoming all that God made you to be and pursuing and building a bold legacy for you, for your kids, and for your and for your for your clients. Because in order for your clients to build their legacy, they need to le learn what they need to learn by working with you. Because if they work with a competitor, they're not going to be as well served. Can I get an amen on that? I used to hesitate to say I'm the best. I don't now because I don't say I'm the best because I'm the best. I say I'm the best because of all that God took me through and brought me through. And these experiences that then I can use to inform my clients. So look, I want to show you something so that you can see what it looks to, what it looks like to reach that future that you want. The journey to that inevitable success, building that legacy. Would that be helpful? I'm going to draw something for you. Hope I don't run out of ink on my pens. Okay. I'm very, I'm not a good drawer, but this is obviously a tree. Have you ever seen a huge tree? Like I lived outside of Charleston for a couple of years and those great oaks were massive, like people, a couple of people to get around those trunks. And in my neighborhood, they built a tree fort around one of those for the kids to play on. My great nieces would love to come and play and visit with Aunt Boo. That's what they call me, Aunt Boo, and get on that tree fort. And so when you think about a successful woman in business, when you think of you, I want you to think of you as this great oak. Okay. Stay with me. You're going to love this. Not my, You're not going to love my drawings, but you're going to love what I'm saying. Okay. You are a solid strong refuge, a place where people come. So on this strong tree that you are, there's like a tire swing. So people come to enjoy. Some people come and sit under the tree. You're like a shade tree, okay? There's lots of fruit on the tree, right? Lots of flowers. And I want you to think of these leaves and flowers on the tree as your winds. So when you think about your future, your foliage full of winds, there's a 40K launch. There might be a 100K in your future talk that you deliver. You have a packed room of an event, whether it's virtual or in person. I want you to see all these beautiful winds for yourself. That's like, it's like your foliage and include there the winds you've already had. They're all beautiful to look at. Okay. And it's fun because this is what everybody sees. They see this beauty. But the thing about trees is, and the thing about each of us is that the beauty that we see is impossible to have gotten without roots. Right. So there's deep roots, especially on these big trees. And for us as entrepreneurs, these roots is the work that we do that nobody sees. It never gets celebrated. It's the work we do in the dark, in the wet, in the ground by yourself. These are the roots that have to grow in order to support that beautiful great oak tree that everybody looks at and finds so lovely and beautiful. So what are these roots? These roots are the early mornings and late nights. They're the hundreds and maybe thousands of sales conversations. There are the sales role plays. There's the study of your craft. There's the reading of the books. There's the mindset work when you're journaling. There's the practice of holding your thoughts captive. The roots are very quiet. They're the quiet time we do. Every prayer, every Bible study, every sermon you listen to as you thought about, Lord, how does this apply not only to my life, but to my business? The roots are the money that you spend on ads, five to $10,000 and Try to get people to come to your webinar and the ads person is excited because you got 200 leads, but they were the wrong people. Like they weren't your people. Half of them are robots. Or how about this? You spent another four grand, only 2% showed up. How about this? Another ad campaign, 50% of the month subscribed almost as soon as they subscribed and you made nothing from your investment. Like this is what I'm talking about in the roots. This is necessary. This is the necessary work to get to the beautiful tree, okay? 
Uh, what else is the roots? It's the feeling like it's growing at a snail's pace, but every day you still show up as a visionary leader that you are. It's every day dealing with something, you know, a spouse that said something ugly or your mother that said, what are you doing? Go back to work. All these things. This is the roots, ladies. Are we getting what I'm dropping? Say yes in the chat if you're getting it, okay? It's the event that you spend tens of thousands of dollars for and only eight people show up. It's when you post on social media and it seems like nobody's engaging and nobody cares. Ladies, this has to happen. It's part of the process. But I can tell you, and I'm glad you're getting it. Thank you for that. Can I tell you that the most important aspect of growth, the most important root of all, and, and I hesitate to say this because I'm going to be briefly sharing with you an offer um, that I shared with a select few yesterday, my action takers yesterday, but, but it is for you. And so in love, I'm going to share it with you. Because it's my job, as always, to tell you what you need to know. And if it makes you feel uncomfortable, it's okay because that's necessary to succeed. So if you're okay, if I tell you this most important route, please say yes. It's going to be, I, I think it's going to trigger some of you, us Christians especially, but it's important. And this most important route is the investing route. Invest. There is no way that I would be where I am if I didn't invest. And I'm going to tell you why. And, and by the way, seriously, if, if my offer isn't for you, don't buy it. I'm good. But you have to walk away knowing this. Because some of you are having a very difficult time charging because you have not paid out. You have been unable to charge because you've been unwilling to pay. Now, some of you are investing, but you're investing like just enough. So let me show you. Well, let me show you. Okay. This right here is you on your just enough mountain. Just enough. Hey, Jude, I, I bought a couple of courses. I'm good. Right? I'll invest just enough, just enough. Right? But yet you're hoping your tree looks like the big oak tree. And you see that's impossible, right? There's no, ra there's no way that a big, strong, solid, standing, tall, confident tree can, can have only wimpy, just enough roots. And so what I want to see, what I want to show you is pretend this is the ground and this is that big tree. Is this even possible? Like, like if your roots are that small, can you see that up there? Instead of having roots that go down like many feet, instead they're just a couple of inches in the ground. Can you see how this little just enough investing, whatever that investment looks like, money, time, effort, it's not going to build this big massive oak tree that we want and that we just looked at. Yeah, the tree couldn't stand. When the wind comes, not even a hurricane speed wind, the tree's gonna topple to the ground. Okay, so this is called the law of advancement. Type that in, in your notes, the law of advancement. It applies to everybody. It applies to you, you it applies to me, just like the law of gravity. A tree's roots have to, somebody say have to, tree roots have to grow down before the tree can grow up. Just like a baby has to fall before it can walk. Somebody needs to hear this. I love you enough to tell you. In business, you have to be willing to be bad so that you can be good. You have to be willing to be bad at marketing before you're going to be good at it. You have to be willing to be bad at sales before you're going to be good at it. Does that make sense? That's the law of advancement. Here's another thing. And if you think this isn't true, I ask you to go to God with it. Your bank account has to go down before it goes up. That's the law of advancement. Everything, if it works for one thing, it's got to work for another. Working out makes you feel weak before it makes you strong. Learning something new kind of makes you feel dumb, like, like what? Before it makes you feel smarter. Investing in something makes you feel poorer before it's actually making you richer. Staying consistent can make you feel stagnant, like there's no growth, but actually it's producing predictability and it's coming. 
When you invest just enough with what you have, you will stay exactly where you are. So I want to tell you a quick story. My coaches, my most recent coaches said to me recently, God, Judy, you have such an advantage over virtually every other business coach in your space. And I said, why do you say that? And you know what they said? It wasn't because I'm a lawyer. It doesn't, wasn't even because of the 30 years. She said, Judy, because you've invested 150 grand. Did, it, did anybody else? Like, that's that's an example of the law of advancement. Like, the more you go down, the more of the advantage that you have. And like law school was my first six-figure investment. And wow, has that been an advantage to me in so many ways. The advantage is ultimately a benefit to my clients. So me investing 150 grand is going to be an advantage to my clients. So hear me on this. The stronger and deeper your roots are, the stronger and more beautiful the fruit will be. Trust me, my coaches don't need my money. But I needed to write that check so that I could experience, even in that moment, a transformation. That's the law of advancement. My prior $75,000 coach was a gulp, my first real uh, gulp moment for me. And now... <laughs> With this one, I'm telling y'all, it was a stretch to go 150, but I'm all in. I'm pushing all my chips in. I'm really here and I got to go in. And so I know before I can experience next level fruit, I, I just knew that that's the time. God, God had me at this conference. I knew I had to go all in. It was the scary thing, but I had to prove my commitment and I had to write that, that check. I don't have the money in the bank, all of it, but I had to write a check. You see what I'm saying? So another thing I learned in my entrepreneurial journey is this, you can't buy time. But when you invest and go all in, you can buy back money. You can compress time actually when you invest because of this law of advancement. Now, obviously people's ROI is gonna vary, right? I mean, there's work to be done and you're gonna see results in relation to the work you do and you know, following your coach's advice. But can I tell you why every investment I've ever made came back to me in multiples? You know why? It's because of the software, the next level success operating system installed and being more fully installed with every passing day. What does that mean? It's operating in the supernatural. It's expecting the miraculous. I'm doing my part. Lord, I don't want to do this, but all right, I will do it. It's having faith in the Lord. Like I know he shows up every time, even in the hard and especially in the hard. Right. And so you know, the Holy Spirit is talking to me at all time. And isn't it awesome? He is the comforter. He is our advocate. He is our guide. He is our helper. Come on. And so because I, and I want you, I'm going to help you install this software so that more and more with every passing day, I and you, we live our faith, not only in our life, but in our business. I want to do the work with diligence and in the joy of the Lord. And I want to expect the outcome that I want and that I know is for me and focusing there. And there's moments when I doubt I am able because of the strong belief and faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to please him. And I can't do that unless I take scary action and move in faith. And because of this faith-fueled mindset, because I operate in the supernatural from a place of calm, confidence, and certainty, because of that, all of my work works. And this isn't just what's possible for me. It's what's possible for you. Like you can do the same. Can you just imagine once this new way of being prepares you so that no matter what the pivot, no matter what's going on in the world, in the country, no matter what happens, you're ready for it because you have this next level operating system. And here, but, but here's the problem. And I say this with love. Again, when you invest just enough, when you believe just enough, you live completely just enough life. Like that's the underlived life, the just enough life. And so here's that situation where you're on that just enough mountain. And you believe it's just enough. I'm going to invest just enough. I have just enough compensation, just enough confidence, just enough comfort, just enough competence, just enough. But you look up here at somebody way up here. And what are you thinking? You see somebody making a big impact. You're looking at this tree. This woman is that big tree. Meanwhile, you're down here and you're like, I really want that. But yet I'm here. See, I want to, I want to help you get 
to this, you know, all God has for you mountain, not the just enough mountain, but all, all God has for you. He sees it. It's there. But I will tell you this, the only way to get from here to here is going through the valley. It's no fun going through that valley. But what does that prove? What I've been saying about the law of advancement. You got to go down before you go up. You have to go down. Why is that necessary? Like what makes the law of advancement true? Well, it's required so that once you reach the heights, once you get there, you'll be able to stay there. How many times have we heard about lottery winners? They win millions, but they're not people who know what to do with the money. They haven't gone through any hard. They went from struggling to having tons of money and they don't know how to handle it. They didn't go through this and then they lose it. Even, even professional athletes, they've gone through the valley physically, but they haven't gone through the valley mentally and they lose, they lose their money. And again, I'm sharing this with you because I love you. So if you are trying to get up here without going through the valley of hard, it's a valley of discomfort. It's a valley of despair. And that includes feeling overwhelmed at times, feeling unsure. It feels like, oh, it's not working. And yet you stick with it. Seeking the advice and guidance of a coach or mentor to point you in the right direction. If you don't put yourself in that situation to learn the lessons with guidance, that valley of despair and discomfort and awfulness will always be there. You'll never get to the top. Or if you do happen to go viral once or something, it, you won't stay. You can never get to that mountain. Too many are looking for a quick, easy button. And there is none. The easiest button still requires you to learn the lessons. Learn the lessons to go through the hard, to go down first, and then ultimately go up. And, you know, just as an example with Myron, who's one of my mentors, Myron Golden, you know, there was a time when he didn't sell for 18 months without one sale. Uh, the CEO of Zoom, when people were canceling their account in the early days, you know what he did? He did the hard. He called them individually asking for feedback. Why did you cancel? <laughs> Think of the webinars you've done where nobody's shown up. That's great. That's some of the hard. Think of the groups where one person signed up in your launch. That's that's good. That's part of it. So is this making sense? Type yes, ma'am, if this, if, if this makes sense. And if you have any question or any problem with it, type that in the chat too, okay? This is your journey. What we're looking at here, ladies, is your journey from leaving the just enough ordinary world of right now so that you can experience the all God has for you extraordinary world as you live and operate in the supernatural. Like expect the miraculous because he's got it all for you. Because this is it. Like this is where impact, where sales, money, it's a byproduct of the decisions you make because it's how you operate. And why is that? Because it's who you are. And of course, this journey is not going to happen overnight. No overnight sensations. It only looks like that. <laughs> but I'm here to tell you it's possible for you. And it's not about that right strategy that's going to do it. It's this going through this valley that's going to do it. All right. I want to share another vivid picture to really bring this home. Can I do that? If This is what motivates me to show up every day. Okay. Hold on. Maybe I'll just tell you instead of drawing, because I don't know that my drawings are helpful. Are my drawings helpful? <laughs> All right. What if we have the roots, but there's like almost no tree? It almost looks like it was cut down or it uprooted the tree, what happened? Because sometimes you invested, you did invest, but you have little to show for it. You know, you have gone through some hard and you're still not seeing it, right? And thank you God for showing me this because you feel uncomfortable. Here, here's, here's why that happens. And I alluded to it earlier, so I really wanna bring it home. If this is you, you've invested, and you're still not seeing it, it's because you are resisting being compensated. 
you're thinking, I just want to help people. And so I'll just do it for free or charging very little. And some of you, it sounds very good and it sounds very uh, logical when you say, well, look, I'm just getting started. So I'm just going to charge a little bit just till I prove myself or until I get enough experience. Does that sound familiar? And look, there's no judgment here. I get it, especially for us Christian women with huge hearts. We're empathetic. We want to help people. That's just how we're wired. But here's why it's a problem. Ecclesiastes 9, verses 15 and 16. It says this. Now, there was, a, there was found in a city a poor wise man, and he, by his wisdom, delivered the city. Yet no man remembered that same poor man, the wise poor man who delivered the city. And verse 16 says this, the poor man's wisdom is despised and his words are not heard. Okay. Before I tell you what it means, I will tell you that I hate, I, oh, can I just tell you how that triggered me? Okay. Don't cry again, Jude. My dad I say is because he still exists. Hallelujah with Jesus right now. He was so, he is so wise and nobody knows him. Nobody listened to him. Who are you factory worker? Sit down. That's who he chose to be because he really didn't see the possibilities of really what he could be. And I think there's a part of him that knew that. And so when I wanted to go to law school and my mom said, Judy, look for a man. Don't get into six figure debt. My dad was on the other side of me and my mom. And he goes like this. And we went out in the kitchen and he whispered, go to school. Pursue it. And I said, but daddy, I don't have money. Maybe mom's right. He said, do it. We'll figure it out. Here's my dad making $30,000 a year. And he goes, we'll figure it out. How dare people not listen to poor people? So look, I don't like it, but this is human nature. The human condition is such that we listen to those we see, those who are known, those who are before us. Think about this. The poor man did not make himself known. And so while he was wise and he actually helped people for goodness sake, Scripture says not only was he forgotten, which frankly, see, I don't really care. I always say it's not about me. It's about the Lord, right? But, you know, I'm not here to make my name great. I'm pointing to Christ. But scripture says this, the poor man's wisdom was despised and not heard. That is literally a crying shame. His wisdom failed to make the impact that it could have. And his wisdom failed to help people. And he didn't put himself in the spotlight for whatever reason. And so his message wasn't heard. He was playing small and maybe unintentionally, like he just didn't know. But here's the deal. The Lord, the Holy Spirit moved so that the Lord can make a point and say that he was a poor man. So God was making a point here. Can you understand if you understand what I'm saying? Is the Holy Spirit talking some of this? I wasn't even planning to say, I wasn't going to talk about my dad, but boy, does it fit. So God's got something to say. Are we paying attention? Thank you. Because right now it's not even me. Every detail is there for a reason in the Bible. So whether this meets with a level of resistance, we got to examine it. When we run from money, when we say, I don't want that because of a misunderstanding about it, we are literally pushing money away. When we carry our old money stories, the very beliefs that have got to be obliterated and yanked out before we're able to believe and insert the truth of God, what he says about it, right? When we carry those old beliefs into sales conversations, and 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 so we have that up in our head during sales conversations. And so when people say, I can't afford it, but they turn around and book their trip to Disney. When they say that's too much money, and yet you see their designer bags, they're flaunting, okay? We can't agree with them. I'm not saying we argue. I'm saying we help them to see what's really going on. You understand? You see, um, it's not your program or your offer or your services so much more valuable than a trip 
to liberal Disney. Sorry, had to get that in. Is your program and your offer not transformative? It's not changing people's lives. Is it not priceless? Even if intangible, which in my opinion is the most priceless transformation, really. <laughs> Dollars, yeah, yeah. But, but when you can help a woman feel more confident, help a woman feel better in her body, help someone to know how to handle their thoughts so that they can do the work set before them. Like, is that not worth, not a fight, not a push, but a discussion, an examination? Are you not serving them by helping them to see how what they say they want either isn't what they want or they don't want it bad enough or they're just like, they don't realize it in love. They're like, they just say it because it sounds good. Yeah, I say I want it, but I'm not really willing <laughs> to do what it takes. But here's the bottom line. Are you willing to leave your good enough mountain to get to your all God has for you mountain, even if it feels uncomfortable, because guess what? It has to, to get through that valley. Because here's the truth. You got to write this down. If you don't become compensated, you will become outdated. You'll be left behind. You'll be in the dust with nothing to show for it. Nothing to show for all the things you've been through that God allowed specifically for you to teach the lessons and help those coming up behind you who want what you can deliver. Okay. I'm just so passionate. Like, let's think about your whole life for a second. I know it could feel like you're just trying to get through tomorrow, I'm working for the weekend, where it's hopefully not, not coming out of Christians' mouths, right? Or just getting through this season. Like, I know what that feels like, but tough times are going to come and go. But you know who always survives? Tough people. <laughs> I know you're tough. I know you're strong because the joy of the Lord is your strength. So if you're tough, if you're strong, please type tough in the chat. I am tough. I am built for hard things. And so I know that this may be like hard to believe, but with all that we've done over the past five days, we've barely scratched the surface, like of all that's inside what I'm about to show you. Like, does that blow your mind? And I know if you're already a client of mine, you can attest that all you learn and what you experience inside one of my containers, like we've only touched the surface this week. So let me just get rid of this. As you know, my mission is to normalize miraculous results for Christian women entrepreneurs. God gave me those words. I did not make them up. I promise you. And it's so awesome because the more I go to him, the more he just drops it. And the more I just realize it's not me. <laughs> so how, how do I normalize miraculous results for my clients by helping you install that spiritual next level success operating system in your brain where your business has no limits and you see possibility beyond possibility. And so, yes, we've done some brain rearranging this week, right? but we haven't renovated your mind because that takes time. And I've mastered success in entrepreneurship for myself. And I've mastered the ability to help other women master their entrepreneurial skill sets as well. And so what I'm about to show you, what I'm about to offer you is an opportunity with a limited number of seats available. It's going to allow you to do exactly that. So if you want it, you probably should act on it quickly. Okay. And look for your email later, get in more details, but if you have any questions about it, drop it in the chat. I'll stay as long as I can, although I do have a tough cutoff at like 1210. Okay, so what I'm talking about is, well, I better write this bigger up here. Breakthrough. It's called Breakthrough, the incubator. What is now, even on my website, still the Joyful Six Figures Accelerator. But I'm changing the name as I'm up leveling. It's called Breakthrough, baby. Why? Because we're breaking through every day. And inside this breakthrough, you will find curriculum, coaching, community, and mentorship. It's a group program with a heavy one-on-one -on -one touch, access, and feedback from me. As you go through, you're going to see, as I go through what I'm about to go through, you're going you're gonna to see how heavy the one-to-one -one access is. It's ongoing from me. It's detailed. And everything we do inside points in and is rooted in faith in Christ. The first thing you get is a ticket to Joyful Business Live. Okay. It's a free seat. It's a three-day immersive, intensive experience coming up in September right here in the Panhandle of Florida. And my theme this year is messaging and PR. And so I have experts coming in to trade on those two vital marketing strategies. And here's what's going to happen. 
you're not just going to sit there and take notes. You're going to leave with solid work done. Specifically, you're going to leave with your messaging dialed in and a customized PR strategy. That's right. You're not going to leave with like massive notes that you're going to have to figure out later. It's going to be, you're going to be well on your way. And you're going to leave with the confidence to pitch yourself even to major media opportunities. Right. So uh, it's just going to be it's just going to be amazing. We're going to start out with a cocktail reception and two solid days of going hard. Now, um, there's another bonus. This actually is a bonus I decided to throw in. And so this bonus of this free ticket is going away um, end of day tomorrow. But it's there for you for the pickings. OK, now, second thing you get inside breakthrough is a robust curriculum. And I can't even say enough about this curriculum, okay? It's better than master's level in entrepreneurship from the finest institutions. Why? Because number one and above all, it's faith-fueled. It's Jesus Christ all over it. And secondly, it's fiercely concise and practical. It's so robust inside. Um, you know, I share my podcast pitching protocol, my masterclass Canvas slides, so you don't have to start from scratch, email templates, like this is the kind of thing. So you just got to tweak it and make it your own. There's so much more, uh, but those are the examples that I wanted to show you. Look, imagine if I share with you my Canva slides and my email templates, like ask me for something. Ladies that are here, my clients, have you ever asked for something? And I say, sorry, you got to open up your wallet and pay me more. That's right. So I am not like anybody else you ever seen because I'm chasing your success because God put me on a mission and I'm taking it serious. So what else do you get? Third, weekly coaching. Weekly. Yes, I go on vacation. So should you. But I do all the weekly coaching myself. I feel strongly about that. Every week we come together and it is my favorite thing to do. And the ladies here, if you're here, you might even want to express like, what do you get out of coaching? Like, I will tell you that the cost of, and I tell my clients this, I want you to come to those weekly calls with the idea, I'm going to get exactly what I paid for this entire program out of this one call. When you search for that, you're going to find it. I want you to get everything you came for and then some. This is real time support. You can ask me anything. Let's talk through something. Let's share a screen. Look at your website. Let's look at, you know, whatever it is, sales pages, whatever. Weekly coaching is huge. Number four, we have a community. We have a private Facebook community. And this really is what happens between weekly calls where you get real-time support so that you can move things forward. Here you can literally post any question and not just the nuts and bolts of business like marketing, offers, selling, which is huge, but also mindset things. Hey Jude, here's what's going on. Here's what happened yesterday on a call, right? How to even handle a spouse who's not supportive. Like this community is a safe place. It is a confidential haven. And more than a community, it's a sisterhood where you're going to get feedback from your peers and detailed feedback from me. And just real quick, one day this week, somebody recently shared their masterclass slides. I did like a 12 minute video going through it in detail. Hey, here's the feedback. Here's some questions I have. Here's some things you might want to think about doing. Um, in prior weeks, one of the ladies right here on this call shared with me a 45 minute webinar. I think a couple of you did. I went through the whole thing. I did a detailed video. I listened to every minute and I offered suggestions and tweaks. Nobody does that, especially at this price point. Hang on. Number five, we have co-working sessions. What's that, Jude? These are 90-minute sessions where we se I set the room, and I might give a mini training just to do that, and then we go heads down. Here's some topics. These are project-specific co-working sessions where uh, some examples were strategic planning we did at the end of last year. Developing your lead magnet was another one. Creating your opt-in email sequence was another one. Mapping out your sales conversation framework was yet another. So we go to work, we get work done, it's dedicated time once a month. And then at the end, the last 20 to 30 minutes, we get feedback and get any of your questions answered. And all of these things we're talking about, all these past meetings, they're recorded and you can access them in the portal, but not only in the learning platform on your computer, but we also have a private podcast so that all of this, you can listen on the go, whether you're on the treadmill, whether you're driving your kids or grandkids. I mean, it, it, that private podcast, even though it's on Apple, it is private. It is not for the world to hear. Next, we have sales role plays. That's number seven, sales role plays. What's that? 
those are monthly because sales, you got to do that on the job. Just like you can't read a book and learn how to swim, you can't read a book on sales and be good at sales. This is the deliberate practice that I spoke about this week. You get your reps in daily as you're videoing yourself every day and putting it out into the world as you're having these conversations. But when we come together on sales role plays, then you get my feedback in real time so you can get more comfortable and confident and certain in your sales skills. Next, what number am I on? I think I missed something. Oh, Coach Me. Coach Me is a tool that I developed. You never find it anywhere else. And this is where you and I go back and forth via email around mindset issues. Using my faith-fueled thought model, which is my proprietary model for holding your thoughts captive as unto Christ, we work through the mind junk. Ninth, we have bonuses. Like I call them bonuses, but they're like little juicy extras that I wanted to include, like my 30-day faith-fueled biz journal. I have a video there, an audio on legal issues, on a launch plan, access to my terms and conditions, my privacy policy, sample contracts, and more. Even more advanced things. There's a hiring um, document that you get that takes you through the whole hiring process. There's accounting, setting up your accounting. There's an operations uh, set of modules. So it's obviously like, this is a comprehensive business building, Christ-focused business incubator called Breakthrough, because that's what you're going to get inside. Now, previously, this looked a couple of different ways, but going forward, Breakthrough is now a 12-month program. And check out all the chat. Thank you, ladies. Andrea just said, I love Coach Me. <laughs> it's been transformative. Yes, yes, yes. So this is a 12-month program because I want to give you time to not only consume and to do some things, but to master, right? We're learning not to learn. We're learning to master. So over the entire year, you're going to have access to the curriculum and to the coaching and everything you see here for a full year. Now, I will tell you that, well, I'm going to tell you the price, then I'll tell you what I was going to say. How much do you think something like this would be? Pop it in the chat. And if you know, don't, don't say anything. For those of you that may not know, can you be bold and like shoot a price what you think this would be? I will tell you that my coaches say, Judy, this is a $20,000 program all day long. And so after Monday, Monday at midnight, is when this particular thing closes. So Tuesday morning, you're going to see a new price on it. But right now, the price is $68.97. I know, it's surprising, right? $68.97 is pay in full or six monthly payments of $1,150. $1,150 gets you started immediately. Saying yes to yourself. This is the beginning of your next level. This is where your transformation begins, okay? Now, uh, I want Becca to please drop in the chat. It's gonna say Accelerator, the Joyful Six Figures Accelerator, but we have to change some logos and make some little tweaks. But this is where you go to find out more and to see some more detail, to watch testimonials, to see what others are saying about it. Cause I could say a lot of things, but watch my clients right here in the chat, take a gander at that and go there, judyweber.co slash accelerator. Thank you for that, Becca. Um, and you'll see the landing page and you can just click. And here's what happens. As soon as you click within minutes, you're going to get emails to invite you to the private Facebook group, an email to get you into the learning platform. And you can plug in to next week's group coaching. I mean, it's amazing. Now, here's what I want to tell you. $68.97. Do you know that I could sell each element of this for 10 k Oh, one thing I didn't mention. Inside the curriculum, I have, I have two workbooks. One workbook that has the resources and some other material that take you through my curriculum. And then there's a whole separate workbook for sales. My sales conversation framework workbook. So when I say that this is the bargain of the century a year for $68.97 to get my brain on your business, oh my goodness, I am not exaggerating. <laughs> and I will tell you this, this, what I've just presented to you is available through Monday at midnight. After that, the price is going up to at least 10K. I haven't decided what the price is going to be, but the floor 
as of as soon as the ticky tock on Tuesday comes past midnight, it's going to be at least 10,000. That is not fake urgency. That is reality. I'm going to my next level and I'm taking my clients along. Now, one other thing before I go into your questions for just a few minutes at least is one or two of you, actually maybe three of you, now that I think about it, between Instagram and Facebook, have asked me if I offered a VIP day. And I do definitely do that. So if that is something you're interested in, feel free to DM me on Instagram or pop in VIP day here, but leave your email because sometimes your names and I can't correlate names with emails and you and I can talk about that. But I will tell you my VIP day package <laughs> starts at 5k and it's one day. And this is 68.97 for a year. All right, I just want to tell you what the bonus is. The bonus, the bonus I had yesterday is gone. And it was a juicy one. I'm not even going to tell you what it is because I don't want you to be angry. But the bonus now through Monday at midnight is my Think Right About Money series. We're going to obliterate your money junk. And my current clients, you're welcome. It's going to be yours. This is going to be delivered live over a series of weeks. But it's going to be coming your way as a bonus. And... There's another like surprise bonus that I'm not even going to mention, but suffice it to say what you're getting here, <laughs> I over deliver and it's for your benefit. All right. So let me see what's in the chat. I've 82 things to look at here. Let me start at the bottom. Let me see. Start at the bottom. If you have a question, could you just pop off your um, mic and just ask away? Cause I think that would be easier at this point than me um, trying to read through this chat right now is there anybody here that has any questions no christine veronica karen any of you okay if not then i will leave you with this tomorrow 10 a.m sisterhood saturday it's gonna be a fun time come in your jammies that's okay same Zoom link. It will be sent to you as a reminder, like tomorrow morning early, but it's 10 a.m. Eastern, so 7 a.m. Pacific, and do the math on that, but it's 10 a.m. Eastern. Uh, if you do have any questions and you're like, Judy, I didn't want to ask here in front of everybody, um, DM me on Instagram. That's the best place. Uh, or else type here now, question, and give me a way to contact you phone number, email. Okay. But if there are enough, is there, if there's nothing else, I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for the honor and privilege of coaching you and being with you this week. And I look forward to seeing y'all tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. God bless you. Have a beautiful day. Mwah.